Good day and welcome everyone, Stuart here from Northern Bolt and Tool and I hope everyone has had a fantastic festive season and on behalf of the Northern Bolt and Tool team we wish everyone a fantastic and prosperous 2025, hope all your dreams come true and hope you have the best year yet. Bringing you this video today, we're going to be looking at a brushed versus brushless rotary hammer drill. These are both cordless units, their specs are very very similar. There's a slight difference in price, about 250 Rand. When you break it down into percentage terms, it's about 25 more expensive for the brushless unit versus the brush unit. We want to test out to see what the performance difference is like. Uh, the, the claim specs are very, very similar. So we want to test that and just see, is it worth going and spending the extra money on the brushless or should you save your 250 Rand and stick to the brushed units? Now, obviously there are advantages and disadvantages uh, to brushed versus brushless. Mostly there are more advantages to going for the brushless unit, uh, but we'll unbox these quickly. I'll show you guys what's inside these boxes, what they come with, and we can go from there. All right guys, so first thing to note off the bat is that you can see the physical size of the box is a bit different. That's because if I open up here, you'll see that the physical size of the brushless unit is a little bit bigger than the brush unit. Not in terms of the length of the tool, but in terms of the height. So the brush unit is about 20 mil shorter than the brushless unit, just FYI over there. In terms of weight, the brushless unit is only four grams lighter than the brush unit. Now, with the extra size, that's actually quite amazing. I know brushless motors are a bit lighter, so uh, they've obviously, um, a little bit of weight has been added in terms of the size and a few other features, which we'll show you guys shortly, but that's the, the spec on the physical dimensions of these two units. In terms of the accessories you get, with the brush units, you just get a bag with some loose drill bits like that. With the brushless units, you do get a nice little box, a nice little holder for your drill bit, so that's actually quite a nice thing to have. Um, so, yeah score one to the brushless unit. In terms of spec, the brushless unit is rated at 1.8 joules of force when drilling into brick and concrete, where this unit is rated at 1.5 joules of force. Now we've got some 14 mil uh, drill bits that we're going to be using into some concrete. We've gone for the larger size to try and exacerbate any performance differences between these two units. In terms of the maximum capacity into concrete, the brush unit is rated at 16 mils maximum and the brush is at 18 mil. So we are within the spec. So we're hoping that the larger size 14 mil exacerbates any potential differences between these two units. With that, let's get into it. All right, guys, we're going to do a quick RPM test here. We've uh, got both machines on the same battery, obviously, and they're both rated at 850 RPM. Both machines rated the same. So let's test and see if they're able to live up to that 850 RPM. So as you can see, brush units, a little bit more 877, really, really nice result. Let's test the brushed. Okay, guys, we've got the brushed unit here. Let's see what we're able to get. We were able to get 850, so pretty much bang on 850 RPM. So although the brushless unit claims 850 the same as this one, it is close to 875. So a tiny, tiny bit more, but it's negligible. It's not a massive difference. But yeah, the brushless one is ever so slightly quicker than the brushed unit. All right, guys, so for this test, as I mentioned, 14 mil drill bit, we're gonna be using a brand new drill bit in both tools from the same manufacturer to try and get some level of conformity and so that we can draw some accurate results. We've opted to use a four amp hour battery. If you'd like to know why we've chosen that, I refer you to our battery video where we look at battery, battery size and how it affects performance. Um, I encourage you guys to go and watch it if you have not seen that already. So both are gonna be on a four amp hour battery. We will charge between tests to give each drill the best opportunity and his fair shot at drilling into this piece of concrete over here. We're gonna be drilling for 15 seconds and seeing how deep we are able to go with each of these machines. We're gonna do three holes each and measure the results and get a nice average there. So with that, let's get into it and let's start drilling.
Now, time for the brushed. Alright guys, so after the test we did notice a few differences. Uh, when we were filming we noticed that the airflow coming out of this brushless unit was a lot stronger than the brushed unit. And you can actually see how the concrete dust has been sucked onto the tool in certain areas where the air is either getting pulled in or pushed out. This is not evident anywhere on the brushed unit. The added cooling means that the tool will be able to work longer and harder without breaking down or suffering any issues with the tool itself. On top of that, we have also noticed that the brushless unit has this heat sink in over here by this vent. The brush mm -hmm. unit does not have this, which tells me that a lot more cooling and a lot more thought has gone into the brushless unit than the brushed unit. Using them in the hand, the brush unit felt a lot better, a lot stronger, a lot faster. We haven't actually measured the results yet. It might be a psychological thing, but we're going to measure them shortly and we're going to let you guys know which one drilled the deeper holes. All right, guys, the results are in. On the brushless unit, hole one, two, and three was 34.1, 37.5, and 32 more. So you can see a bit of a variation, but you know, close enough, we're gonna average it out. The average gives us 34.5. With a brush unit, we've got 19.5 mil, 26 mil, and 27 mil, to give us an average of about 24 mil. So that's about a 45% deeper hole with the same amount of time on the brushless unit compared to the brushed unit. So the performance difference is quite significant. And yeah, I could feel it in the hand. This machine felt a lot quicker and a lot stronger. Um, it's just, it is what it is. Um, it is rated a little bit higher spec, but you can definitely feel it. So is it worth spending a little bit more? Well, I think it definitely is. I would definitely spend a little bit more money and get the more powerful brushless tool. However, if you are constricted by space and the gap is, very, very important. Then this brush unit is shorter. It will be able to get into harder to reach places and it will give you the same performance on the two amp hour battery as a four, five, six, 7.5. If you want to know exactly or a little bit more about that, I should rather say, you can head over to our battery comparison video, which we'll link in the description below, where it tells you a little bit more about the battery performance, battery size, brushed versus brushless, all of that good stuff. So with that, the recommendation is to go for the brushless units, spend a little bit more, get the best machine that you can. I hope that answers a few of your questions. If you have any queries or anything like that, guys, hit us up in the description below. Again, thank you all for watching. Please hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing to our channel. We really appreciate all the support. Both of these machines are in stock, are fully available both online and in our store. We'll have links in the description below to both of these tools online and our address should you wish to come and view them in store. Come through and have a look at our Inco Shop in a Shop. It really, really does look good. And uh, yeah, it'll, it's a really, really nice buying experience for all of our customers. We are still developing our shop, as we mentioned in our end of year video that we posted end of last year. But with that, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our first video of 2025 and catch me again for more exciting videos.